Hey, what's happening, peeps? Today we're going to be starting uh, Lucia's campaign, and from what I remember, this is a lot shorter, and I've heard some people say that this was like a funner one, like it's it's funner to play as her. Uh, I, I don't remember that being the case, but let's just jump into it and find out. I'm going to let all cutscenes play. Long since past. In an age of darkness, when the earth was overrun with demons, and humans were powerless under their rule. Humanity's hope lived in a demon named Sparta. With a spirit unlike any other, and wielding the sword that bore his own Sparta eradicated the demons. So I'm going to let these play, uh, but I'll probably be editing out chunks of cutscenes that are like identical from Dante's campaign. I know for sure she has like some unique ones to her, but repeated ones will probably get edited out. And so I could be wrong, but I want to say her campaign is only like half the length of what Dante's was. So I should be able to knock this out, hopefully, in like two episodes. But um, max three, because Dante's only took like four. Alrighty, so let's go find some orbs. One right there. I mean, one thing that I'm liking already is she feels faster already, just her movement. Dante just felt real slow for some reason. But like, I'm not even on like double trigger or anything. It seems like she's already running as fast as he was on double trigger. There we go. That right there might might have been all that I needed. I feel like we barely see her in Dante's campaign, but I, I do like her design. My bad, I didn't mean to hit start. Or I, 
I did do it on purpose, but I just forgot that I'm not supposed to be <laughs> skipping all the cutscenes. Yeah, right off the bat, she feels like just significantly faster than Dante. Damn. Her knives feel pretty powerful, too. That's it. Cool. No items. Cool. Alrighty. <clears throat> so it's like the same first level as Dante's, but it's just just kind of going off in a different direction. It was like a different starting point. Seems like she's kind of going backwards. Her combat really does feel quite a bit better, though. It just feels like smoother and faster. That could be crazy, but it seems like her dodge is a little quicker too. Actually, like, feels pretty good. I'm like a little surprised. <laughs> I, I figured it would feel different, but not necessarily better. It definitely feels better so far. Yeah, those are like super powerful. Seems like it only takes like a few seconds to knock out enemies with that. Alrighty then. Well shit, this might actually be fun. <laughs> I mean Dante's campaign has its moments, like it wasn't completely garbage. But most of it was. Just ripping through these dudes. I mean, it's still unfortunate that the projectile weapons are like crazy powerful, but I don't know. Her combat does feel pretty good though, and at least with her projectiles, like they seem like extra powerful, so I don't have to waste too much time just shooting nonstop. It, it would feel that way sometimes with Dante. Well, I mean, I guess with his smaller enemies, it wasn't too bad, but I know with the bosses, it would take forever. And she seems a little more, like, agile, so 
Hopefully that'll mean that it'll be easier to actually do more combat. Rather than just having to shoot bosses up a lot. Cause that it gets pretty dull, but man, it was like so effective <laughs> to do it that way, so I would just find myself resorting to that quite a bit. There was an orb over here last time, right? Oh, it's a secret. Cool. I didn't actually find that many of these with Dante. I think I only found like four. Which, obviously, there'd be more than four. I'm just saying I only found four. That being said, though, I really didn't find a whole lot with um, Dante in the first game either. I'm just not really good at finding stuff like that. <laughs> like they're they're fairly easy to overlook, and then I'm just not great at it in general. Sweet, sweet. Sweet. <laughs> it's just all new stuff. Since I'm just starting out. Alrighty. Not too shabby. So depending on how quick I can get through these, I might, I'll for sure do like five, because that's what I've been doing with Dante, but maybe I'll even try to push it to, towards a six, if I'm going at a good pace that is. Bring it. Nice. Yeah, man, she's pretty good at curb stomping them so far. <laughs> First uh, amulet. <laughs> I was like running towards that one and then it made me start attacking the next closest one. Get him. Cool. That's kind of cool when they have those like sort of stashed away. Can I get him? No, maybe not. Gas clock tower.
So I know, like, especially with Dante's campaign, there was, like, a lot of areas where there was just, like, a really silly amount of, like, enemies, like, in one area. So if that turns out to be the case um, here also, I'll probably be editing that out just because it's, like... You know, like, once you see me kill, like, five enemies, like, it's not that much different than watching me kill 20 areas, uh, 20 enemies in the same area. That's my mentality on it, so. And if it's like this, then it's fine. Like, if I'm going from one platform to another and more enemies pop up, that's fine. But I'm just saying, like, there'd be times with Dante where I'm, like, just in one room, not moving around, really, just, uh, like, a fairly small room, and it'll just throw, like... 20 enemies for no reason and like they're not hard or anything it's just time consuming there we go uh oh Oh shit. God damn it. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Yeah, let me just try to fly up there a little bit. There we go. Need to replenish that real quick. I know for sure there's gonna be repeated levels, but I, I do like I do like how she does at least have like some unique stuff. got for me boss fight yes yeah, sir what's up buddy oh hell yeah that dodge is way better Up right there, but I didn't push it actually. <laughs> I pushed it when he was like already in motion, or like well after the fact is what I mean to say. Seems like her devil trigger builds up really quickly, which is a good thing. See with Dante, I cheese the fuck out of this boss because like they allowed basically because they they allowed me to like there was no penalty at all for just sitting at the opposite end of the room and firing rockets at him. Like, he's so damn slow that, like, it took forever for him to get across the room, so it was definitely the smarter move to have him, like, in a more confined area for this this one. Like, I didn't even try to fight him at a distance, but I bet you because his, his, uh, little chain ball attacks have good range on him, so I wouldn't be surprised at all if they would actually reach, like, anywhere in this room. This room is like 
probably less than half the size of the first battle battle area when you fight him with Dante. Cool. I think that's already three uh, blue orb fragments. Nothing. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Not bad. Did you obtain the other Arcanus, my dear? Here is the baston. Now we have only one piece remaining. I believe that it is in the ruin. Alrighty, so yeah, like I said before, I'm letting the mission uh, cutscenes play out on my end, just on the off chance that there's actually something different, and if there's not anything different, then I'm just going to cut them out during editing. Because I'm pretty sure most of these that end up looking identical, like I'm pretty sure they just are identical, I don't think there's actually anything different about them. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is where that flying one is. <clears throat> yeah, that's where he keeps dropping like the... Makes like the fire rise up from the ground. You know, some of the designs for the enemies are like pretty cool. They're just not challenging. <laughs> it's like not reacting very much. <laughs> upgrade my sword already. I'll do it later. Am I going to have to fight that boss again here? What's that? Ooh. That's a good thing I didn't upgrade yet. Nothing else here. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, cool. That was already unlocked. That works. Very nice. So don't get me wrong, Dante's combat definitely started to feel a lot better once I started actually learning how to do the combos. But I am liking hers more so far. Because I know with Dante, for like the first like five missions, I didn't even really know what I was doing with the combos at all. And then probably went until closer to halfway in, into the game that I started realizing there was like multiple combos, like like four or five combos. Because even after the first five missions, I only really knew that there was like two. Kick their ass.
lot of dudes. I guess some of them could be girls. For the sake of variety, I, I do kind of wish that she had like at least one like heavy combo. Just because even though like there are different combos I'm doing with her, like they all kind of feel the same because it's just like a bunch of multi-hit combos. It's more like a volume striker. Which would make sense. I mean, she's smaller, more nimble, but also, like, even if she wasn't, even if she was Dante's size, like, her weapons are more built for speed, so of course she's gonna move faster and. She's gonna be able to move faster and uh, it'll potentially take more hits to kill an enemy, so it would make sense why her combos are longer compared to Dante's big ass sword. I saw that gate was already open. I'm just coming over here to see if I can still get an amulet over here. I know what Dante does. Uh, I think it was the first amulet on this one. No, the second amulet because he had the the flying one first also. She feels like a damn ninja though. Like that's like best way to describe her her, her combat. Just flipping around. Demon Ninja. Not bad. Oh, shit. There we go. Yeah. Kind of a waste of time to kill them again, but oh well. More orbs is never a bad thing. So that's the only other thing that I'm not liking so far about her combat is uh, I like how with Dante, um, if you're in the air and you hit the attack button, he'll he'll drop down. It's like his Helmbreaker move. Uh, with her, she'll go up and do uh, a combo. But okay, so let me rephrase that. It's something that I got used to with Dante, so it's something that's throwing me off right now. I actually do like that she has an air combo, be pretty much because of the boss that's coming up right now. That snake looking boss. Because I might be able to like, actually go up and like hit her in the face a lot. So that'll be good for sure. It's just different, it's just, like I said, it's just throwing me off. Oh, fuck. 
Yeah, I really like a lot how her double trigger builds up like super fast. <laughs> oh fuck. <clears throat> I wasn't thinking about how that could reach me. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> it was like at the end of its swing. That was weird. It wasn't even like in the right direction. Ah, uh, stupid. <laughs> Get out of the way. Dang it. Getting kind of fucked up. Not doing the best job of getting out of the way. Gotcha. Okay, cool. I, I was like a little bit in danger there, but it ended up being a good one. Not too shabby. Definitely feels like they're moving along at a pretty good pace. That was easy. Hell yeah.
righty, and I'm moving at a pretty good enough pace to uh, warrant another mission after this. So I'll do one through six. a random hall for me to go into. There's like nothing really there. Yeah. Let's see what they got for me in this one. Why am I not picking that up? There we go. Cool. I remember those like little bombs. That opened up the door in the front. Let's go check that out. Ah. Not gonna worry about these dudes. the shit. <laughs> it just came out of the sky. Now we'll be going to that little tower area. Jesus, it takes a lot of hits. Another amulet. Let's go get it. I remember you, those things explode. Huh, still hit me. <laughs> what an asshole. There we go. Orbs? No? Maybe it only counts when I do it. difference. <laughs> Let's 
sweet. Huh. Jesus, my life is low. <laughs> Why was it not healing me the whole time? <laughs> Dude. Uh, I didn't even know I had an orb on me. That sucks. I like barely missed it too. So I think as soon as you put that there, it stops whatever that was that was draining me. Whatever. Didn't die to a boss, I just died to that. <laughs> I think there was an item back over here. I just tried to run real quick because I was about to die. Yep, there we go. Definitely glad I didn't miss that one. Snuck away in between missions to eat some Chinese food. I'm like super full right now. Trying not to burp into the mic. <laughs> Still not dead. I think these guys are kind of never ending, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna continue trying to fight them. Let's do it. Bring it on, bitches. <laughs> this is over here, like, singing in the rain. It's all happy. <laughs> Could be going crazy, but I th thought there was like a secret room around here somewhere. Yeah, that one, I think. Yep. I do believe I missed another one, like in an earlier level. Jesus. Spray him down. Washing your sins away with knives. Sweet. For some reason, I thought I had three of those already, so I thought that would have been my 
my fourth one, which would have gotten me another blue orb. Oh well. But yeah, I mean, like I said, I think I, I think there was supposed to have been one. So maybe that. Maybe I was just thinking about how it was coming up, and then in my head, I was just kind of counting like I had it already. Yeah, see? He just has that mustache twirler villain kind of look to him. Go ahead and knock out one more. Hmm. Well, well. It appears that the defect is back. Defect? You are my creation. Liar! Mathieu is my mother. She merely found you when you were about Rude. to be disposed of, and then raised you as a soldier. Is that what you consider to be a mother? No! I don't believe you. Look. You have the mark on your shoulder. Proof that you're a mannequin. Kai. That is your real name. Now, give me the Arcanas. With them, my power will be complete, and I will become like the immortal Argosax. I will achieve absolute wisdom and transcend all. The world is already Everything that belongs to the devils will eventually revert to its original form. Even you will betray your upbringing and turn on the humans. <laughs> Accept it. Might as well run around and get these. I didn't really need them. Uh oh. <laughs> That's what I get for talking shit. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't need them. And then he's like, oh, let me take half your life for you. No big deal. I'd be happy to help. That's more than half my life, damn. Jesus. Oh shit. Eat it. Dirty girl.
Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. Get up. Yeah. Got him. Let's skedaddle. Wrong way. Sweet. Don't mind if I do. I got for me here. Sweet. I feel like that was definitely missable if you weren't paying attention to the cutscene. Alrighty folks, that's going to do it for this first episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed the content. Feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.